नाउ स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस क्वेश्चन नंबर 6.16 एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस पार्ट नंबर ए सो फुली कंसंट्रेट ऑन पार्ट नंबर ए इन दिस क्वेश्चन इट इज गिवन टू यू वी हैव टू ऑप्टेन हियर एन एक्सप्रेशन फॉर म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस क्लियर सो ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू फाइंड म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस बिटवीन अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर बिटवीन अ लॉन्ग स्ट्रेट वायर एंड स्क्वायर लूप ऑफ साइड ए दैट इज शोन इन अ फिगर ओके फाइन नाउ डी स्टूडेंट डू यू नो हाउ कैन वी फाइंड हियर म्यूचुअल इंडक्टेंस एक्चुअली देर इज अ रिलेशन बिटवीन अ करंट एंड द मैग्नेटिक फ्लैक्स दैट फाइव इक्वल टू एम आई clear it means our sole objective here is to calculate first this flux clear so magnetic flux we will calculate and for magnetic flux we need here magnetic field clear now you know uh, it is given in a question we have a long straight wire long straight wire means i can say this is at infinity this one is at infinity clear to you so from here we can see uh, if you are talking about any element of this wire clear so it is having a different different distance from this long wire clear that's why what i am doing here i am taking a very small strip here clear a very small strip and this strip is having thickness that is dr clear and let's suppose this is situated at a distance r from this long wire clear so can we find here value of b yes value of b we can write like this this is mu not i upon 2 pi r clear now what is direction of magnetic field i can say if this thumb indicates direction of a current then this curled finger indicates direction of magnetic field so magnetic field direction is perpendicular inward clear so this is value of b now can we find here this area yes area da da is given by we can say this is a multiply dr a multiply dr so now we can write like this d5 d5 is equal to b multiply da now you can say if we are talking about area vector area vector is perpendicular to this square loop clear and, and i can say let's suppose area vector in the direction perpendicular inward and b is also in the same direction it means angle of angle between magnetic field and area vector that is zero clear so we can write like this so from here you can say total flux this is given by integration of b a dr clear now because here variable is r so we can say r value limit we will take from x to x plus a clear this is x i can say this is a so x to x plus a so from here x this is x plus a clear so now i can write x a plus x value of b value of b we have mu not i divide by 2 pi r clear and multiply a dr clear so from here we can see value of phi clear so value of phi this is equal to what mu not i a uh, we can write like this mu not i a divide by clear mu not i a divide by 2 pi so i can say this is 2 pi integration clear integration equal to what this is dr upon r clear dr upon r and it is from x to a plus x clear so i can say this is uh, x to a plus x so we can say value of flux this is given by mu not i a divide by 2 pi clear now what is integration of dr upon r this is equal to log r so log base e r from i can say x to a plus x clear so now we can say we can write like this mu not i a divide by 2 2 pi log base e now first we will put upper limit then lower limit so upper limit we can say this is a plus x divide by x clear now so we can say this is value of phi clear this is value of phi so can we calculate here value of mutual inductance yes phi is given by this is equal to mi and this one is equal to nu not i a divide by 2 pi log base e a plus x divide by x clear i can say i and i this is cancelled out and from here we can write value of mutual inductance this is given by mu not a divide by 2 pi log base e a plus x upon x clear to everyone so this is value of mutual inductance and this is all about part number a clear
Now, children, we are going to discuss its part number B. Clear? So, concentrate on our screen. Now, now we are going to discuss part number B. And in part number B, it is given. Now, assume that the straight wire carries a current of 50 ampere. So, I am writing here I. I is equal to 50 ampere. Fine. Then, it is given to you. Uh, I is 50 ampere and loop is moving to the right at a constant velocity 10 meter per second. So, velocity is given 10 meter per second. Fine. And now we have to calculate induced EMF in the loop at the instant when x equal to 0 0.2 meter. Clear? So, x equal to 0 0.2 meter. We have to find value of induced EMF at this value. Clear? So, from here we can write like this. Uh, Actually, we can utilize this formula of flux here. Clear? So, I am again writing this value here phi equal to 2 pi i a phi equal to mu naught i a mu naught i a divided by 2 pi divided by 2 pi log base e 1 plus a by x. We can also write like this. Clear? Now, we know induced EMF. This is given by minus of d phi by dt. Clear? So, from here we can also see this is equal to minus d by dt value of phi. This is equal to mu naught i a divided by 2 pi log base e 1 plus a by x. Clear? So, now from here we can see this is equal to minus mu naught i a divided by 2 pi. Now, important part is here because this is with respect to t can we write here in terms of x also yes we can also say <coughs> we can write like the dx by dt or i can say d by dx clear yes or no actually i am multiplying with dx and uh, dividing with dx so dx by dt dot this one and mu naught i a divided by 2 pi log base e 1 plus a by x clear now you can say this is what this is velocity. So, now I am writing E. It is given by minus mu naught I A. This is B divided by I can say 2 pi. Mu naught I A B divided by 2 pi and now. Now I am differentiating with respect to X. Clear? With respect to X I can say mu naught I A divided by 2 pi and multiply 1 upon clear 1 upon this is 1 plus a by x clear 1 upon 1 plus a by x or i can say this is given by minus a upon x square yes or no so from here if you uh, simplify it uh, you can write like this actually we already write here mu naught i a divided by 2 pi clear and a we already write here this is v so i think there is no need to write this factor again clear so we will not write this again clear so from here we can say uh, we have only this term in our bracket so from here we can write like this this is minus minus plus mu naught i a v divided by 2 pi i can say this is x plus a and this is equal to because we have here a so this is a square yes or no Yes, this is a square and because this go, uh, acts like this, so this will be like this. So, now we are going to put here some values. So, concentrate here. Now, I will put here values and I will find directly value of induced EMF. Clear? So, definitely uh, calculations are a little bit lengthy. But, uh, we can see actually if you know concept and if your calculation is very fast, you can easily solve this type of question. Clear? So, now part number A is very very important for any competitive examination, but here we have to do some calculation, clear? So, E, this is given by mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7, multiply, what about current, clear? Current value is given 50 ampere, what about A, clear? A is given to you, yes, uh, X is given to you, no, current A, A is given here, uh, A is equal to 0 0.1. Clear? So, this is 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 multiplied V. V is given that is 10. Clear? Divided by, I can say this is 2 pi value of x 0 0.2 plus 0 0.1 and 0 0.2.
clear so from here if you calculate you can say this one is 2 I can say this is 0 0.1 and this one is cancelled out so from here we can say 50 into 10 to the power minus 7 into this one and this one cancelled out clear so divided by yes divided by I can say 0 0.3 clear so from here we can say this is equal to 500 divided by 3 clear 500 divided by 3 into 10 to the power minus 7 clear or you can write like this 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 5 and this is volt clear so I can say this is value of induced EMF and at a position of x equal to 0 0.2 meter clear so this is all about this question